So this tool does some interesting things and I'm just going to outline them for you real quick um, so you can kind of get an idea of what it does. Now, um, the first thing and one of the most important things that we understand um, as online marketers is that we need traffic in order to make money. Um, the problem is, is that a lot of times it's hard to get the search engines to rank us where we'd like to be ranked. Um, so what this tool does is it allows you to fool Alexa into thinking that you get a lot more traffic than you do. Alexa will then rank you higher. If Alexa ranks you higher than the other search engines, part of their algorithm is taking Alexa ranking into consideration so you'll get ranked higher within those search engines as well. Um, so what you do here is you just put in the site that you want to um, get hits to and then you put in how many hits you want to hit your site an hour uh, maximum and then also a maximum of what you want it to shut off at as a complete max and then you can uh, set a refer if you want to um, I have a lot of tutorial videos by the way for all these functions um, and then you go and you just hit start and it starts and as you see right here I've already got 468 since I started about uh, two three minutes ago so maybe five minutes ago um, so that's kind of how that works. Now you're going to get a lot that fail because you're putting in proxy IP addresses that you're getting from sites and stuff like that and I'll show you where to get them but um, some of them are going to fail, some of them are not so you uh, will just want to put in a pretty large list and then just let it go and, and that's all it does. Um, so that's pretty cool stuff. Like I said it raised your Alexa ranking and it helps you get up in search engines. I've gotten a lot of sites ranked um, very quickly um, in search engines and gotten really high uh, Alexa rankings on them um, by doing this. Now what the second part of the tool does is it actually does kind of um, the direct opposite of this. What this is doing is you're fooling Alexa into thinking that you're getting traffic to your site by people hitting it. What you're doing here is you're pretending to send traffic from this site to these sites. These sites have something about them that you can index um, people who send them traffic and uh, I show you tutorials later on on how to do this actually and add more sites to it. And you put an unlimited amount of sites in here that you want to um, and, and it will hit them. Every time it hits one of these it counts as a hit or a referral backlink. So you can put unlimited sites into the site list. Um, you can have a hundred of them in here. The limit is per site so if you have ten of them in here then the, it's going to stop at 30,000 total, 3,000 for each. Um, you can put in sites in the file and just hit reload and it will add them on the fly and all sorts of cool stuff there. It has a scheduler um, so you can actually schedule your um, times to run the actual tool and the scheduler works for these front two tabs for the traffic and the backlink tab. And you can have it uh, run multiple times a day and uh, also seven days a week. So you can uh, totally automate these first two parts of the process with the scheduler and this thing can just run in the background the entire time um, and you can actually minimize it and it just goes right down into the bottom of your screen um, into a little teeny icon. Um, some of the other things it does on here is it allows you to um, search by search strings. You can add your own search strings to this by just pressing that and then adding your own and as you see here test is now on there. Now there's times that you are looking uh, you're always looking for different places to add your link to and backlink to raise your um, page rank and get you more backlinks. And I recommend that you outsource these tasks to an outsourcer who can go there and just literally spend eight hours a day finding sites and adding your link to them. Um, you can find somebody for a dollar an hour to do this. Um, but with this tool you can add these search strings to it and say for example maybe you're looking to find places to um, backlink your dieting site, right? And if you just enter that in, there's 5, 518,000 different sites right there that will allow you to add your URL. And they're directly related to dieting. Now, what if you want something else? You can see weight loss instead. Hit search. It'll add it down there. And now weight loss. So you can do this by keyword if you want to. Um, also, .gov, .edu sites are embedded in here. You can add anything that you want to. Um, the big thing is that you can... Uh, like I said, link wherever you want to and, and find unlimited amount of sites to link from. So that's always been a concern for people. What this does is it also has a double meta refresh generator. Um, I don't know if you guys understand what this is. Um, some of you may. What it does is it essentially blanks the traffic that you're sending to a page. For example, if you are sending affiliate traffic to a page 
the affiliate manager, when the sale happens or the traffic comes to the page, can look at a report and see what site sent the traffic there. What you do with this is you're causing it to blank it out so they cannot tell where the traffic came from. There's many different reasons why you'd want to do this, such as you want to protect your traffic sources so nobody copies them and steals them and becomes a competitor. You may be wanting to send traffic from a source that the offer does not allow, like Craigslist or other places. Well, maybe you may get really good converting traffic from Craigslist, but the merchant doesn't allow it. Um, the way I see it, as long as the traffic's good for the merchant, what they don't know doesn't hurt them. So this, you just enter in however many affiliate uh, offers that you're promoting. You may be promoting seven different offers. You add them in here, it will automatically generate a, um, two pages for you. One of them is a rotator page that will rotate amongst these seven offers, so that way you can send all your traffic to these offers and determine which one is the best offer and then run that one full time. And then the other um, page it generates is a um, basically a double meta refresh which blanks out the referrer for you. Um, and, and what it does is it checks to make sure there's not a referrer. If there's not a referrer, it will send them to an offer. If there is a referrer in there, it will keep sending it back to get blanked until it's blanked. What this one does is it fakes refer, meaning there are times if you were to do just a double meta refresh, the affiliate managers are going to get suspicious and antsy and they're probably going to call you and say, where the hell is your traffic coming from? And you may not want to tell them or whatnot. And you may want to say, look, you know, I've been burned before. People have stole my traffic and stole my sites, so I don't want to show you. But instead of raising a flag like that, there's no reason not to. So what you can do is you can actually say that the traffic came from this site. It may have came from site A, but this is site B and you may want them to think it came from site B. So you just put this in here, put the affiliate link here, it generates some code and a page for you. You send the traffic to the page and um, it will make sure that uh, any traffic that the uh, affiliate manager sees, they'll think it came from this site rather than the site that you actually sent them from. So that way you don't raise a red flag and problem solved. Now the last thing this does is an awesome thing, it's a ClickBank detective or detector. You can enter in a ClickBank affiliate, uh, or I'm sorry, ClickBank vendor ID and what it will do is it will go searching through ClickBank forcing the merchant pages to pop up whether or not they are public or private pages. What this means to you is you can find products in here. Here's one for $149. Normally you can buy it for $129 since you found it with this tool. You found their discounted page that they may not allow um, publicly. Now that's cool for you. I've actually found up to $100 off in here. Sometimes they have Christmas sales, sometimes they have other discount pages and you may want to save yourself a couple of bucks. So you just type in the vendor ID. I have a tutorial inside the uh, members area and you just type it in and it will search all the pages for you. Then you just double click. It will open up the page and you can purchase the product at the discounted price and save yourself some money. So um, check out this tool in order to get it. You got to opt in down below. So go down below and put your name and email address in there. I'll give you instructions on how you can get this tool. And uh, we'll see you guys over on that page. So uh, go check it out. I'm sure you guys will love it. Bye.